In this video, Hanson from Feedback Quiz will show us how using their product, Amazon seller could set up email follow-up sequences for their customers. Hello, Hanson. Uh, could you please introduce yourself and tell us what exactly is Feedback Quiz? Hey everybody, uh, it's Henson from Feedback Quiz. Um, so Feedback Quiz is a tool for Amazon sellers to help manage your store brand reputation. So for example, um, we help you try to get more product reviews, seller feedback, you know, prevent negative reviews. And at the same time, we help monitor your listings and make sure that, um, you know, all the reviews coming in, um, you will be able to get notified immediately and, you know, be able to respond to it so we can manage all your reviews. Uh, we have a lot of features, but that's the high level of what Feedback Quiz does. Yeah, other than that, um, yeah, our tool really is to help sellers get more reviews and, you know, man automate the sequence so you don't have to spend time on, you know, setting these things up. And it's, you know, very easy to do. And once you set it up, you just, you know, have it run in the background and, you know, watch all the reviews come in and, you know, manage your customer um, feedback so mm -hmm. yeah sounds good and uh, now i would like you to show us a little bit how like a quick uh, demo how can amazon seller set up an email sequence i let's say it's an amazon seller who just signed up for a feedback quiz and he would like to just uh, without spending much time to set up a sequence which really converts to convert converts well and uh, uh, so Let's see. Let's see how can we do it with a feedback quiz. Sure. Uh, I'm going to show you my screen here. If you can see everything clearly. Um, yes. So, so this this module inside our uh, platform here is uh, a template. So the template is where you can create the content and the subject line of the email. So we have a lot of pre-built templates you can select from uh, here, and there's just different types of you know uh, what you're trying to send to your customers. So we have a lot of examples um, and then you can, you can preload these and these are all usable and they're all within terms of service. So I can just go through the process real quick on how you can you know, set up a sequence. So for example, um, I load one of these pre-built pre templates and let's say this is uh, to ask for product review and, and here you can basically um, upload your company logo. It's really simple. So you just copy and paste it in here and you can change it. And you're also able to create these really nice buttons here too. So these are all, these are actually just uh, GIF files. You can actually manually create and you can copy and paste into any of our variable links. Um, I won't go through the details on how to do this, but you know, we have support videos on how you can create these buttons. Now these buttons are really cool because uh, they can get you better conversions depending on um, the product you sell versus, um, you know, sometimes uh, you, you might use uh, some of these generic, these kind of buttons where it could be harder to see or people might not know to click, but there's different strategies on what you, you know, what your target audience is and what your messaging. The, um, we've seen both ways work. These buttons work great. And then sometimes the more personalized email that makes it look like they're sending this personal email to everyone also works very well. So. But in general, this is where you can create your um, your template. You can automatically load in your pictures. So you know different orders. You'll populate the variables. So these you can exactly see what your uh, you know kind of messaging you're sending to your customers, and you can upload like uh, logos and email attachments, things like that. So once you created this template with your subject line, um, in, a, in another video we talked about like this is a really high converting subject line. So we load you know, our best subject lines in here to help you. So you don't need to like figure out what works and what doesn't. And once you create the template, you save it and then you go into our campaign manager and this is where you can set up a sequence. So um, each campaign sends out an email one time. And so for example, let's say, let's just say you're trying to send out three emails for every order, then you can create three campaigns. So in this, in this campaign, you basically come in here and you can select the template that you're trying to, um, you know, send out for the campaign, you can name it. And then we have all these different statuses that you can target. So if you want to send out this, um, you know, when the order is shipped, let's say you're doing a um, order shipped email with attachment on how to use the product, then you can choose shipped, right? And then you can choose like, as soon as it's shipped, or you can uh, choose a certain time of the day to ship it out. So. 
the best time to send out emails is around seven or eight o'clock Pacific Standard Time because that covers both the East and West Coast. So it's a really good time that um, a lot of buyers will open the email. So I would, we, you know, programmatically set at 7 a.m., which is a great time. And then you can also choose how many days after the shipping event you want to send out this email. So it's, um, it's all very simple to do. Um, one of the really cool features we have is we have these uh, exclusions that you can set. So um, <clears throat> we have an orders page that I won't go through, but basically we, we have sync a lot of data pertaining to each order. So we can see like if they use a coupon code, they left you a seller feedback, if they returned your product, they repeat buyer. There's a lot of things you can do. So since we have this data, <coughs> you are able to exclude these events. So for example, if you're asking for a product review and the person returned your product or refunded your product, you obviously don't want to ask them for a product review because you know it's probably something bad happened, right? So you can exclude these kind of events if it happened. Or let's say you had products that um, people buy like on a monthly basis, right? You, they don't want to hear the same message all the time. So you can exclude repeat buyers and say, hey, don't send uh, you know, people who bought my products before the same message. And vice versa, you can create specific uh, campaigns for only your repeat buyers, right? Or only people who left you, you know, positive feedback or negative feedback. And, um, so there's a lot of different uh, functionality you can set in these campaigns. And, and for people that have multiple products or multiple brands, uh, you can come in here and select exactly which products or which SKUs you want to target for this particular uh, template. So that way you can create customized specific sequences for different products that you sell. So you don't have to send the same email for all your products. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then once you save it, um, you can even send it to pass orders too. So let's say, you know, you never used an email sequence uh, automation tool before and you sold in the past. Uh, you can come in here and, you know, choose your past orders and target those guys and ask them for a review. Uh, Amazon allows you to, uh, allows uh, buyers to leave a product review anytime after after a uh, purchase. Uh, seller feedback is a little different. Seller feedback, um, you only get 60 days. So, and then, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's how you set up a campaign, super, super simple. And do you have any tips uh, how many emails to send overall through the whole campaign? Yeah, so um, previously we were suggesting people send like, uh, two to three emails, no more than three, because Amazon, um, with their recent TOS, uh, one of the conditions they've been flagging a lot of sellers is uh, excessive emails. Um, they haven't, they haven't said exactly how many emails is considered excessive, but um, as long as you stay under three emails per order, you should be fine. Uh, a lot of sellers just send two emails, maybe one email when the order is shipped, and then one email after it's been delivered for you know, X amount of days asking for review. And um, you know, if you really want to send a third email, you can and just make sure you space that out like further out. So you don't want to send like back-to-back -back emails to buyers because you know, they could report you as spam and then that could be, uh, it, could, it, it could trigger a flag on your account too. So you want to make sure that you don't send too many unnecessary messages to your uh, buyers. Okay, thank you very much hands-on and if someone wants to sign up and check and test feedback quiz you do have a free plan right yes we have a free 30-day trial that uh, includes all the uh, features <clears throat> in our platform and then we also have a free email automation plan for uh, newer sellers that are very low volume just turning off so that way you can you know use our tool for free to send out some of these emails to your what Your is buyers. the low low volume like? Uh, you can send out 150 emails per month, so you're probably averaging like five orders a day. But you know, you can send out one email per order. I think it's a uh, perfect for someone who's just starting out to test uh, and and to have their own yeah email sequences that they don't need to write manually. Yeah, it's just a good way for um, people to get familiar with you know the email sequence, and then once you start growing, then you know, we have pretty uh, scalable plans that we offer. Uh, so it's definitely, there's a plan for everybody, so. Yes, cool. So yeah, anyone who wants to try Feedback Ways and if you are a serial seller, you can find the links below to sign up for Feedback Ways. And uh, 
Yeah, whenever you have any questions about feedback quiz, contact their support team. I think uh, you respond very fast, right? Oh uh, yeah, we have a great support team here, and um, feel free to email us anytime. Any questions about feedback quiz, or you know, even questions about Amazon, and a lot of people email us about that. We'll get back to you, and you know, we'll, if we don't know the answer, we'll find the person that can give you the answer. But most of the time, um, you know, our team here, we all know Amazon very well, and we're very experienced, so we can definitely help you out. Sounds good. So thank you, hands on, and good luck in your business. Bye bye. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Alex. Have a good one. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this short video. And if you would like to be notified about new videos uploaded to Orange Click channel, where we talk to different Amazon seller service providers, Amazon seller software creators, as well as organizers of different Amazon seller events, make sure you subscribe below to the Orange Click YouTube channel and click the notification bell. Bye bye.